It's another beautiful day in Florida. I think uh, sunglasses were a very optimistic choice today. It is so grey. Oh, good grief. No, I think we'll be able to get through because they will be non... It's extra magic. Basically, it's extra magic hours. We forgot. We're now here with the rabble. Um, and, like, obviously the rest of the land is closed off. This will be interesting, but I, I, I genuinely believe we can get through because but of our bands. You, you just say, excuse me, Mad VIP coming through. Totally skip the queue. Um, so we've actually missed, <laughs> we actually completely missed Extra Magic Hours, but it's all right, we got in five minutes early. So it does at least mean like we get a head start on the queues before like the bulk of the crowd. Which is always good. So, planets, Mount Everest, then dinosaur, then then we'll check the time. But we're going to see Finding Nemo at 11, and then at 11:30 we've got our first fast pass, which is for the Kali River Rapids. Um, if it doesn't warm up though, and I get wet, I won't be getting wet. I'll be putting my poncho on. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to wuss out today because it's so grey. Yeah, I was saying thought it was going to rain last night but it didn't and it's really grey this is our second really grey day so hopefully it brightens up because I want to top up my tan a bit more because I, I am going quite brown for like the first time in my life so yeah we'll see we'll see oh and one more thing those locked coordinates we're in now here's the drill you follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? You guys everything are going on this go wrong. Mission. That's what, so don't everything. Tell me. It's been a fairly successful morning, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Saw Pocahontas, mm -hmm. went on Everest, mm -hmm. went on Dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> went in the shops. Yep. But have a safe find a new musical Yay. in the big blue world. We've both seen this. Something Ellie's actually seen for once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm just. I'm. I. I got two and a half hours sleep last night. Basically, the issue was we were really, really cold in the room, so we turned the heating up. But we turned the heating up to tropical, which is not a wise move. I woke up really, really early. Like as in, I'd had an hour's sleep. And then I just lay there, twisting and turning for like five hours or something ridiculous until like six and our alarm was going for 7.15 so I slept like a lot. Two and a half hours sleep. So yeah, oh they're telling us to move. No means so much to me. I don't know what I do. Just keep swimming, life isn't all that grim. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, what do we do? We swim. Right! Good grief, I was a mess in that show. Like, every time Nemo began singing like, That's my dad! I just sobbed. <laughs> do you not know what's wrong with me? It's terrible. Anyway, we just did a little stroll down the Woodland Trail, and uh, I'm just like, looking at the water and the band and stuff, and Ali's like, Tarzan. He wasn't in his usual character spot, so literally, it was really cool, there was literally one person in the queue. And then we got to meet him, and it wasn't an awkward Tarzan moment, because I find Tarzan can be quite an awkward character to meet sometimes. But no, he wasn't, and he was talking to us about Jane, he knew Jane came from the same country as us, England, and uh, then, and then, he like, pulled us back to like, because he like, we were, you know, you have your time and then you go. And then he like, pulled us back and he was like, if you see monkeys, Tarzan will protect you. And I was like, oh, thanks Tarzan. So I just thought it was a very underdressed part of the <laughs> She did. Uh, she, she was, was like, do it. Like, <laughs> do look nice. Cast members have got a bit downgraded recently. <laughs> then we realised, oh, it's Tarzan. Yeah. And just so you know, Tarzan must have a good razor in the jungle because he is a chest shaver. So. His hair's also way longer than it is yeah. in the film. 
got some nice dreads going on. Very, very long dreads. Um, but we are off to Carly River Rapids, after Blue and King Louis. The monkey king. Yeah, I'm the king of the swingers. The jungle, the jungle. I feel like most of the character meets I've done, I'm like, mm. She comes to Disney, she hasn't seen half the films. I'm like, have you seen this one? Have you seen? And, they, and they're like really, basically all the princess films. I've seen Bambi. That's not a princess film, obviously, no. I've seen that one. <laughs> She's seen like half of, right, this gives a perfect example. Ellie, <laughs> we were watching Beauty and the Beast at Hollywood Studios today, and she was like, he's turned back into a human, that's not right, they've changed it. I was like, Ellie, it's because that's the whole point of the story. Because you see, like all the time on TV, the bell and the beast dancing together, I'm like that must be. Do you know who you sound like? You sound like Matt getting all like annoyed about Chip being in the on the castle on the engine. So basically, our friend Matt that we met, um, uh, Mrs. Potts is telling Chip all these stories. It's the light show at the end of the day, and then Matt gets really upset because Chip is still a teacup. And obviously, Mr. Potts tells him a story of how the beast transforms, and obviously, minor, minor loophole there. That's yeah. who you sound like. Sorry. Should be. I mean, I do love Disney. I do. <laughs> we'll end it there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is one of the cliche things that us Brits love to do? Queue. Queuing. So guess what Ellie and I just did? We queued. We queued. We got in line to see Baloo and Louie, King Louie, and um, we thought, oh, it's a nice short line. Then we get to second in front, and they go, like, we are next in the line, and they go off for their break. We look at the time, we're like, Lion King fast passes are right now. And we've missed so, River Rapids. We've missed a whole fast pass, and we're at the front of the line that we've waited for for probably about half an hour. Yeah. I didn't notice the time though, because we were just chatting. And we had to walk out in front of all these people, and they were looking at us like, you're at the front of the line, you're leaving. We love to queue. I present to you His Majesty, the Disappointing. Uh, obviously, The Lion King is always an incredible show, but um, Ellie pointed like the tumble monkeys, my favourite bit. They all came out, and Ellie like says to me, "I thought there were four monkeys," and I was like, "There are," and there was only three. Anyway, as a result, they didn't do the tumble monkey section, which was a shame. And then also, um, the guy that sings Simba's parts in "Can You Feel the Love Tonight," his microphone's broken as well, but they sorted that really quick. But I was actually saying our seats were so good for that. I think I preferred it, partly because I was more awake as well to when we saw it last week. But we're going to use like not seeing the tumble monkeys as just an excuse to come back and see it again because it's so good. Anyway, I just I lose my trail of thought. This is what happens to me when I get two and a half hours of sleep. I think I'm doing quite well for two and a half hours of sleep today actually. Um, Ellie's got a food review for you all. We are at. The Harambe Market. Which one did you go to? The Tamu Grill. She went to the Tamu Grill because she just wanted some chicken. chicken. And uh, she got this like barbecue, I should have shown it to you when it was actually there. She got this like grilled chicken on a stick and it did come with slaw and um, some kind of black eyed pea salad. But she got double rice sides instead. And here is Ellie, because it's a pretty darn good review, I'll tell you that now. I just got the preview of it. Go on Ellie. Okay, so, I mean, this is what's left. Nice grill, but the rice, as I said to Lorna, I was like, oh, it's just like white rice. Then I tried it, and it's got this amazing flavour to it. I can't pinpoint what it is, but best rice I've ever had. 
um, even beats an Ando's rice. Then, chicken skewer, the best charred meat I've ever had. Like, I love a charred meat on a barbecue. Barbecue is my favourite food ever. This one was like barbecue chicken times 100. It was really good. It's like my top notch dinner at Animal Kingdom so far. Made all the better. Oh! Knocking over my cup. Made all the better that we're at the Harambe market, which we just find hilarious because as being teachers, all the kids like obsessed over the whole Harambe Gorilla Gate last year. Yeah. Um, which obviously we sympathise for, but we just find that this is called Harambe quite funny. So please don't hate us for finding that funny. It's just the number of things we've had to put up as teachers with over the last year over Harambe. that news story. And Bay. I'll Haram Bay. Haram, but that was it. Haram Bay, but Bay is in before anyone else, as Urban Dictionary describes it as. As a teacher, you learn Urban Dictionary becomes your friend very quickly. You learn the meaning of many a word. We were talking about this earlier, weren't we? Uh -huh. Dench. Dank. No, dank. De Dench is one as well. Yeah. This shows Dench. how cool I am Dench. right now. Peng. I got called Peng once. Um, yeah. Sorry, Bear. Bear. It's another language. It's another language altogether. But you learn it. Thanks, Urban Dictionary. waiting by the purple wall. Look at that. That's how I feel. That's how we feel. <laughs> we just want to get to... All we wanted was to go into the park, take some nice photos, get a job work, and then take a sunset cruise to Port Wilderness. Is that really too much to ask? Yeah, obviously, it was too much to ask because we had Disney Magic Day yesterday and now we have a kid anymore. <laughs> oh gosh. No, we've got a glimmer of hope. It won't come out on the camera, but like there is a line to the edge of this awful cloud. So we're hoping and wishing and praying. This is a song, isn't it? I'm hoping and wishing and da da and praying. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but. It, it's, it's been going for an hour is basically what I'm trying to say and we're fed up but basically my poncho conveniently left it at the hotel so Ellie very kindly who has not yet bought one shared hers with me and it worked quite well we were, we were like walking down Main Street and it was like a little cake coming out behind us but look we're dry so Ellie's hair is still straight mostly so yeah huh? we made it we're really excited. Ellie's excited for the mashed potato. I'm really hungry. I was saying as we were coming over here, yay! I was saying as we were coming over here, all I've eaten today is a bagel. Not quite sure how that happened. 
but I'm hungry. Uh, it's spitting a bit, but as Ellie bought the poncho, I've let her go for it. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Also, my hair's curly, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. Uh, but we can see it. Fingers crossed for a good table. We we went for the higher option. Um, there's like three price options on table, and I think the price difference between the second tier and the first tier was like seven dollars. So it really wasn't that much. So we were like, well, might as well go for the top tier. So got everything crossed for some good seats. Lots of sangria, lots of mash, lots of meat, lots of just fun. Is it dessert? Yes. What? But it's <laughs> look at that face. But it's not unlimited. Oh. You probably won't be able to fit it in. We'll see, we'll see. Can't say like hoop de doo like really Yeah, no, I know. I think had it been like nicer uh, weather, it would be better. Yeah, beer wine place, so. ah, there we go. So we picked up our table, we're table 25. Uh, it's 10 to 8, and we don't need to be there now until 8.30, so that's nice and easy. So we were like, well, that's like half an hour away, so let's go get a drink. So, Davy's lemonade, rather delicious, and you went for a moonshine, strawberry. Strawberry mimosa. Mim mim mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> They're both delicious. Really lemony, really straw strawberry. -y -y. Um, and we're just waiting till probably about 25 past. So 15 minutes or so. Yeah. Nice. Guys. Oh. Hello. It's still raining. Ah! We're under the poncho still. It's like we're in some kind of tent right now. We're not. It's, it's, it's not great. We know that it's like, oh, the door's just opened. Yay! We're basically not sure. We weren't sure whether we had to wait here, which is why we're under the poncho, or whether we could have stayed where we were, where we were nice and comfy. Uh, because we have our table. We're table number 25, so in our heads, we don't need to be here, but, but everyone else is here, so it, you know, it throws you off. It has been fun underneath the poncho. We've had a great time. It's just very warm, and I'm still getting quite wet, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is it really? It's like a little secret hidden gem. It's oh. so beautiful, lovely. Have you always worked here? I'm um, not always. I've worked at Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. Oh, Lots. nice. Yeah. I'm sorry. Ellie is doing the most classy MS styled salad toss I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at this beautiful lettuce with the ripened sun tomato. I was going to say they're not sun dried. Sun blushed tomato. Sun blushed tomatoes. With the great parmesan. Parmesan. And the uh, beautiful chopped cucumber. <laughs> 
Well done, Ellie. You only spilled two, two pieces of lettuce and a couple of bits of parmesan. <laughs> Waitress in the making. Six teaching. Six teaching. Oh my word, I thought how much I love cornbread. It's the best thing. So here, I mean, you've already seen Ellie's expert uh, salad tossing skills. We've got cornbread and the butter. Slightly different to English butter. It's like creamier, lighter. I don't really know how to explain it. And then uh, the salad. I mean, could you toss a salad better than that? No, you can't. three nights we've made a friend and we've called him Naveen because he's a frog but we see him every night and here he is again look at him he's just where's my finger gone just there that's his outline we have named him Naveen after princess and the frog I'm sad he's not on the path but I'm glad we still saw him tonight because I don't feel our night would be complete without yeah, seeing Naveen now so, night night Naveen, and we'll see you tomorrow night. And he's just like, get lost, I wanna go to the pond. <laughs> I wanna go hang with the alligators. Laters! <laughs>